don't know. I'm always being so dramatic. I'm just so yes. dramatic. I'm so. <laughs> he had this girl of a person, and um, I knew. I think. I think I knew. Okay, I knew. All right, I knew. And I was okay with it. I wasn't really okay with it. I'm lying. I don't know what's going on. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> All right, cool. Are you ready? Yeah, girl, to get to you. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see what you're gonna ask. what they say? Period. They be like, period. <laughs> I am whew, 26 and I will be 27 next Tuesday. One yes, week. Happy I'm a cancer. I told my cancer sisters, I love y'all. Yes, season, man. yes These emotions is. are flowing. I feel that. Uh, whew. I feel that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so who are you on a soul level? Solely, I'm, I don't know. I'm still trying to find myself, honestly. I'm in the middle. Well, I'm not in the middle. I know who I am. And I know what I like and I know what I believe in. But it's like the acceptance kind of sort of. So I come from a Christian family. Grew up in a church. Danced in the first row. All that kind of stuff. But as growing older, I got more like into the world. And like the universe. And like trying to combine those two. My friends, they don't understand. Some friends don't understand. Some friends do. My family, they think I'm a little bit, a little like... Girl, no, don't say that. You're that's the devil. That ain't the devil. <laughs> it ain't the devil. I said I, I'm, I'm waiting for the universe to bring me something. Ain't no universe. Yes, it is. It's God in the universe. God created the universe. So yes. how can it not be a universe? So that's who I am spiritually. <laughs> I'm in the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. All right. Well, is there anything that's going on right now or anything that's happened in the past that kind of affect the way you process things and like who you are as a Today, um, I felt like I was like 100% until March happened and my aunt passed away. Mm -hmm. And then like my life was crashing down. I lost like so much weight. I couldn't function. I was having a hard time at my new job. I was like really depressed, like the real kind, diagnosed depressed. And um, that's the only that's the only thing that happened in my past. I know my grandparents passed and stuff too. Passing really just affects my period. Mm -hmm. I don't like separating from people. I don't like that's why I don't get close to people because I don't want them to leave. It's just I'm real weird on stuff like that. So that's the only thing that's like got me a little bit unbalanced. I'm trying to get back on track. God willing. Please, universe, help me. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to give you three categories. Uh -huh. So I want you to tell me which one or group of things means the most to you and what means the least to you. Mm -hmm. So the first group is love, sex, and relationships. Mm -hmm. The next group is society, culture, politics. Ooh. And the next group is spirituality and or religion. And you can mix and match those things if you want to. All of them. It's, like, it's important. <laughs> I mean, right. And some people say all of them are important. Uh, so you allowed to say that if that's how you feel? All of them, I, all of them is important. But relationships, stuff, like like intimate relationships, that's what I mean. I really can't, I don't really care too much about it. It happens or it don't happen. Politics, I feel like you can't control this world unless you make a change yourself. Mm -hmm. And spiritual is all what you believe in the inside. So it's just all what you want to do. That's what I think. I don't know. I can't really say which one is the level one or three. Right. Uh, it's it just all like better. all mixed up to me because I'm like all over the place. So it's like all mixed up. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get you to color now. Okay. So I want you to pick colors that represent you as a person and represent your mood right now. And then you can pick as many as you want. And I want you to tell me why you pick That's the it. certain colors that you pick after you pick them. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's it. Okay. What color did you pick and why? Pink. I always like pink. I don't I don't know. It's something about cliche. I know girls like pink. Okay. But it's like the lighter shade of pink. Mm -hmm. It's just so pretty to me. I don't know what about it. It's so calming. Like your nails. I'm like, I was looking at them the whole time. Oh, thanks. Yes. <laughs> it's just amazing. Yellow. I don't know. I just feel like I'm healing. So it's just like mm. vibrant. Yeah. Vibrant. 
and green only because these two go together. I'm not an AKA, but if I ever was, I would, I would if I ever be in a sorority, it would be AKA. Mm. But these just look so pretty together. Green. And yeah. a green earth. Yes. Earth. So that's it. Okay, yeah. perfect. So just draw the best you can through the rest of the interview. I don't and even know how to draw a straight up. line. Do your best. <laughs> draw whatever you want to draw, no pressure. Okay. And um, if you don't finish, it's fine, because I'm going to be asking you questions the whole time. Okay. So the first question, what makes you the most upset? When people don't understand that I am, I have my opinions, and they're not trying to hear my opinions, like not trying to hear me out. I have a lot of people around me that want me to think how they want to think, mm -hmm. and that just pisses me off. Like, I have my own way of thinking. And it's fine if you don't agree with me, but just listen to me and hear me out. You don't have to agree. You don't have to nothing. Just, just listen to me. Right. That's it. That's fair. What makes you the most excited? Music. And, like, just people around me being happy. Like, dancing, laughing. Yeah. And my son. He's, like, mad cool. <laughs> How old is your son? He's four. Aww. He just turned four a week and a half ago. Okay. And what you said, music, what kind of music do you listen to? Like, what's your favorite genre? What are some, who are some of your favorite artists? Blue Eye Soul is my favorite. Blue Eye Soul? Yeah, it's like Adele and okay. um, Sam. And... Oh, because it's like white people who sing soul? No, is I that, don't know. It's just like the why accent. Is Blue Eye Soul? Oh. It's, yeah. oh, no. That's why it's called Blue Eye Soul. Oh, okay, that's okay. why it's called, but I, that's not why it's my favorite. It's just my favorite because it just, the accents, it just sound good. Yeah. And I like, um, I like trap music. I'm a big trap girl. I like trap songs. I like the beats. I like the dance. I just like it. A fast beat. Yes. The least favorite reggae. I know y'all don't kill me. I don't like reggae. I don't. I That's can't. Fair. I can't help it. It just it makes me upset. But. <laughs> <laughs> and go-go too. I don't like it either. You don't like that? Oh, we in Baltimore. I'm in Baltimore. Okay. Baltimore. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, but I forgot I was on the other side. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> You're allowed to not like whatever you don't like. Okay. okay. Um, you know what's funny though about the blue eyes soul thing is like when they sing, I never hear their accent. Right. So and I, I think need to listen. And I know, but I think that's why I like it because okay. like it's like I hear it a little bit, but then I don't hear it. But it just sounds so good. And the stories behind it and yes. that song. Mm -hmm. I like a story. That's why I'm mad that like a lot of people don't do visuals anymore on like music. They just drop songs. I wanna see a video. I haven't watched music and, videos in so long. And, and Adele, Sam Smith, like, he always dropping a music video. I like stuff yeah. like that. He looks so good now, too. I know, healthy and stuff. I'm not saying that he wasn't healthy, but he just looked like it. Right. <laughs> All right, so what are you most afraid of? Now, death. Okay. Yeah, I'm petrified. So death in general, like losing yeah. somebody or you dying? Me? Okay. Losing somebody else? Just, even just... Yeah, not even. They don't even have to be like dead. Just like, just somebody just not around me anymore. Mm. It's like maybe they move away. I don't know. Just okay. the death of a friendship and the death of a relationship. Just <laughs> death of the soul, of the actual being. Just death for it. How do you feel about change? I like change. That's so weird. <laughs> I like change when it has something about, you know, me doing it or people doing or changing, like, to, for them to evolve. Mm. I can deal with that. But, like, sudden change, like, in my life, like that, again, I don't like it. I don't like it. I can't handle this for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. So, make a face that explains you. Like, if you were a facial expression, what would it be? <laughs> What does that mean? Like, what does I don't mean know. Mean? I'm always being so dramatic. I'm just yes. so dramatic. I'm so... <laughs> I hate it. Really? I, I love it, but I just hate it because, like, it comes out of nowhere. It's not, I'm not even thinking about it. And people are like, what the girl, calm down. Ain't nothing to happen. Like, I'm just so jumpy and I'm so dramatic. I'm, I'm just too much for my own self. <laughs> it's a good thing, though, I guess. I feel that. Yeah. Um, explain to me what social media is to you. Like, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? 
It's a love and hate relationship with social media. I find out the worst things on social media. I find out the things I need to learn on social media. I find out, like, girl, it's depressing. But then it's so happy because I learn from it too. Like, yeah. different things to um, to elevate yourself. You know, some those self uh, care and love pages or um, uh, yeah, those websites or whatnot, like like that. Or then one minute I'm turning over and it's somebody like, oh, somebody got killed. I don't want to see that. Yeah. But then I'm like, I do need to see that. Because right. if I don't see it, then I don't know. What if I, if I didn't know, I could be walking on that same street where I don't know they grabbing girls up mm-hmm. in the nighttime. And I'm just like, do-do-do-do-do and get grabbed up. True. It's like like the gift of knowing, but you don't want to know. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. Um, what is the hardest conversation you've ever had to have? I never had a com- nobody never asked me something I was like I don't want to talk about it <laughs> okay <laughs> that's not me I'm like I'm very open, very open. I'm yeah. so open I'm probably too open but um it's cool because I help a lot of people yeah. I'm the one that people come to so I have to be whole myself that's why I'm like in the process of healing because how I'm gonna be the person I am to other people who I want to be who I aspire to be if I'm not complete myself right right um also, who who am I if I'm down? I can't be a good mother. I can't be a good daughter. I can't be nothing. So like, it's just like I, I have no barriers. So no conversation is it's kind of weird to me. I actually, people, I probably say too much, like I said, and people like, girl, ain't nobody want to talk about that, or that ain't nobody business, or some weird stuff like that. I don't know. It's just me. Okay. Um, what is the most challenging thing you've gone through? Just, girl, I'm going to repeat myself. Death, because that's the only thing that just makes me, like, go crazy. I can't function. Yeah. Like, when my aunt passed away, I literally told my mother before I even, like, when I walked into the hospital, I told my mother, y'all going to have to put me in a psych ward. I feel like I'm going to just go psycho. Like, I'm so sad. And I don't even know what's going on. Like, I, it just was something weird. And I, I'm not, I'm not even that type of person. I just know my emotions were just like, ah, not yeah. again. And how my family work and how everybody family works, kind of, sort of, death comes in threes. So when I thought, when she passed, I'm like, who else? Like, right. oh my we'll God. And then my grandmother is sick too, so it's just like, please, Lord, like, how am I going to deal with that? Then that, if God willing, it, like, if that happened. But I'm just saying, like, I just knew it was death comes in threes for me, for everybody's family that I know. So I just was, like, so scared. But nothing happened, right? No, okay. no, okay. yes, no, literally, yes. Okay. My aunts um, on my mother's side, some passed, and um, somebody else passed on my, I think my dad's side or my mother's side, I can't remember. What? But I only, I only go, I can't, I can't go to funerals. I can't. I only went to my aunt's funeral, and I went to my grandfather's funeral, and I went to my grandmother's funeral. I was young then, I don't remember. Yeah. But like everybody else's funeral, I can't go to. It's it's too crazy. Yeah, it's too yeah. much. Yeah, it's too crazy. Okay. Um, do you have any weird habits? No, I'm. <laughs> I, I despise habits. <laughs> what? I don't think it should be nothing you do to. I don't think it's nothing in this world that you have to do to function. I feel like you should even just... Even if it's, like, subconscious? Like, when no, people don't realize... Don't don't even know. Like, I don't want it. I don't want it. Just, like, that's why I don't... That's why I don't smoke weed. I don't want to get... I don't yeah. want to have to do it. Okay. I don't. That's why I don't drink like I used to. Because I don't oh, want to yeah. have to do it. I don't want to, mm-hmm. like, oh, well, let's get a drink. Oh, let's go. Let's get weed. Or just some weird shit like that. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to have to do something. Huh. I used to bite my nails, but my aunt, she used to put, like... When I was asleep, she used to put this stuff on my nails to make it taste nasty. That was like the only ever habit I ever had. And so that broke pretty quick. Yeah. Quickly. Okay. I feel, well, I cursed a little bit. I mean, that's don't normal though. That's that's because I'm expressing myself. Right. So. Other than that, no, I don't have any bad habits. Okay. Um, share an embarrassing moment. Girl, I was running. I was on Huffman Street. It was so long ago, and if anybody of these people watch this video, they're not even gonna remember because it, it was a long time ago. Mm. And I thought I was slick. I thought I was like, okay. And they were the boys. The boys were playing football outside, and I'm like, I 
can play. Like, but whatever. Throw the ball to me or something. Let me, I don't know. Let me catch it or something. I didn't know what I was doing. Girl, I catch this ball. I caught it. They threw it to me. I was running. Like, speed of light and thought I can run so fast. And that's a bunch of boys outside. I slid. All, like, you know how you run too fast, you fall over your feet? Yes. I slid, like, three blocks. Like, you know, little like little square blocks on the, on the curb? Oh, I man. slid, like, three. And I still have these scars. Wait, where is it? Oh, right here. One, <laughs> two. And I was, it was other scars, but I don't know where they at. And I was, like, had to be 12 years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so embarrassing for me. I didn't go around to my art house a long time after that. <laughs> a long time. A long time. Okay. That's only embarrassing. Everything else, I love little moments like that. So, so they're not. Embarrassing no, it's not embarrassing. No, 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 no. But that was really embarrassing. It was boys. Like, yeah, for I sure. was young. I'm, you know, starting to like them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> okay. Um, what are you self conscious about, if anything? My weight. I think what I'm so small. Oh, okay. Yes, I think I'm like so small. And I have, I'm small, and then I have like the mom pouch too. Then I have the soggy skin, and I have like the stretch marks. It's just like a whole lot of trying to figure out things. Yeah. Whew, Lord Jesus. I have it show my stomach, only show my stomach to one person, and it's been four years. Every time, everybody else, I'm like, you ain't seeing my stomach? Oh my God. Nope. Yeah, so it's like, I'm trying, I'm growing. Yeah. I'm figuring it out. And I feel like I'm trying to think like what I feel like there are tons of moms that feel like that first of all oh yeah and number two I feel like there's like exercises you can do right no or, like, not for the skin you gotta get that cut off cut off yes is yes. that something that you're like thinking about or are you just if somebody gonna, like, my it? husband better pay for it if he want me to change a girl I ain't paying for that I don't know. I'm not scared of surgery. I mean, this this whole thing is about you. But no, please, please. I don't know. I'm just so scared me of going under the knife. Me anything. too. Me too. But I also think that we're in a time where like post baby bodies are beautiful and like accepted and like yeah, you're gonna feel how you're gonna feel. Right. Obviously. No, but gonna, that's how. You know, that, but that's how I, I am. I am so you know self conscious about it. But I'm also always posting like, girls, show your stomach, da da da. Only because I'm dealing with my own battle, so I don't, yeah. I know that it's out there. So I'm trying to embrace other people to to get over it, even though I'm not over it myself. But I'm still trying to help right. people. Yeah, that's just me. Okay. Um, do you look up to anyone? My grandmother, mm. for a, a regular person. Mm -hmm. And Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh my God, I love her. For another, for like a celebrity person. Her mind is so calm. I aspire to be that type of person one day yes. to understand and accept. Not even accept, just to understand certain things and process it like she does. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I just watch her talk and it's so graceful. Yes. <sighs> I haven't said. Even though I know she wasn't like that all her life, the fact that she probably grew. And to that person, it's just like, ah! My grandmother, because her credit score is amazing, and she travels the world. Like, she's been everywhere, and she's still traveling, and she doesn't let anything stop her. That's amazing. And she, you know, she's sick right now, but she literally travels every, like, month, if not every other month. That's living, though. Oh, I feel my like, God. Yes. And she lives in this beautiful, like, penthouse down, penthouse down. It's just, like, yes. single lady. I'm like, oh my god, you're still living your life. I want to be like you. I want to be like her too. This girl, what? She sounds amazing. She is so cool. Okay. Um, what don't you want to tell people but know you should share because it will help somebody else? Like, what would you be kind of hesitant about sharing but know you should share it because it will help somebody else? Just accept people for who they are. I am like, stuck on certain things and stuck in my certain ways of how I think and how I think people should be but I'm growing and maturing mm -hmm. and I feel like you just need to accept people for how they are and and who they are not for what they are, who they are I'm still trying to process that and yeah. America needs to know that you need to do that because 
If you don't, the world is still continue to be a crazy place. And stop being so judgmental. Because sometimes I can be judgmental too. Same. And, and, and nobody knows that. <laughs> People think I'm like, kumbaya. Right. Oh my God, shy. I have a problem. Can you help me? Uh, old time, I'm like, shoot my own battles in my head. But it's whatever. I just need to learn to accept people for who they are. Yeah. Um, if you could change anything, what would it be? The world. Okay, what um, would you change? Um, I would get a little bit more structure for these children. Mm -hmm. I would try, I would just talk to God <laughs> and tell him to tell these people stop killing each other. Yeah. That is stressful. Mm -hmm. And I just want peace. I don't want people to hate each other. I know we we're born like we came into this country this way as, as being an African American descent. I mean, African American period. You know, right. we came here off of hate, like, and it's still here, yeah. and that stresses me out. Cause I have a black boy, you know, yes. a black old boy, super black, mm. you know, and I don't want I don't want the world to attack him. Mm. I don't want the I don't want him to feel like he's not loved or he's not protected or anything. I, I, Everything I'm a guy got him, of course. Right. He's not gonna be around me all his life. He's gonna be in the world. He's gonna be at school. He's gonna be at work. He's gonna be at college, at whatever. And I don't want him to feel like he can't blink or breathe wrong right. without something crazy. Go off a bed. But I'm just—it's just so my heart so heavy because other mothers have to deal with that. For sure. You know. So it's just like I just want that to change for the world. I want people to be more loving. Oh my God! Yeah, caring about the next soul and stop killing each other. That's it. Yes. Okay. So the last question: What do you have to say to the world? And actually, I just thought of another question that's going yeah. right after. Yeah. Okay. What do you have to say to the world? Um. Believe in believe in the believe in the universe. If you feel it, it's real. Yes. If you feel it, like if it comes. If you just feel that chill, that's what it is. Believe in your intuition. Just just believe it. Believe in yourself. Mm. Don't let nobody tell you that it's wrong. Right. Don't let nobody tell you that it's right. If you think whatever you think, that's what it is. Don't second guess yourself. Don't. Just worry about you. Yes. Point blank period. And you're, everybody is beautiful regardless of what color, what disability, whatever. Like, that is my message. Do you, know you, and be powerful, because we all can do that. That's what I believe. Okay. Perfect. Let me see what you drew. Girl, Show the camera. Is. I don't know what it is. What it, name it. What If you had to name that, what would it be? Life. Yeah. Sorry it's dark, y'all. Show your thing one more time. Oh, yeah. Life, because okay. it cut off when you put so it. So it needs to like, explain it. Okay, explain because it. Because... Up here, you see you have the swiggly lines coming through, and then you have the ziggle zigzags. The so ziggle the, the ziggle <laughs> The squiggly lines is sometimes your life can be smooth, mm. and it can go exactly how you want, and everything is perfect. But in the midst of that, it gets crazy. Yes. It gets so crazy. You like, oh my god, is this really what it is? Or this is how it's supposed to go? Oh my god, I give up. Oh my god. But look at the end of the story. Yes. At the end, Smooth. it's back to how it's supposed to be, and that's just what it is. That's just life. It's, it's all right. Universal flow. You got it. That's it. What they say? Period. They be like period. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much. That You're was welcome. amazing. My thank phone you. overheated, but it's, it's okay. Safe. We got through. Yes. Sorry. Right. Right. This is shy. Flesh. Yeah.